How's everyone doing today, and welcome to another Quest to Cosmic episode where I do online ranked games for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on the uh, PlayStation 3. And uh, I'd just like to thank everybody who did the first to five set with me um, during the 2K subscriber extravaganza, I guess. Uh, it was really cool playing with everybody, playing with new people, playing with some old friends that I've always played, uh, I've played with on PlayStation Network. It was, it was really fun meeting everybody, so... Uh, also, if you haven't had your first five sets, if you haven't seen your first five set online yet uh, on my channel, uh, don't worry, I'm still working on it. I'm, uh, there's still a bunch of sets that I still have to upload. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and edit them together. Um, so yeah, don't don't worry about that. They're still going to be online. I just, I just need the first opportunity that I get to sit down and edit them together will probably be the um, when I finish all of them. So... Those will be up soon. Um, it's kind of the same thing with the combo video that I'm working on. I, I, I just can't seem to get enough time to, to you know sit down and edit it together. So that's that's kind of what I'm I'm working on right now. Uh, this set of ranked games that I did, I don't think I did very well. I, I think I hovered around 50% win ratio, which is kind of low uh, for me. Uh, I'm usually around the high 60s, maybe even the 70 70 win percentage. So. I don't know. Hopefully there's some, hopefully there's still some good games in here. So yeah, that's kind of what's been going on and uh, let's go ahead and get into some of the commentary of these games. Uh, I got a, uh, a Phoenix team here. Uh, uh, Ghost Rider on point with Morgan. Morgan is really, really trying to play it like lame. Just trying to eke out as much time as possible to get to, get to the five bars with Phoenix really really annoying to deal with because it's just you know run fireball run fireball run fireball I end up getting the kill on Morgan but my own Morgan is getting pretty low in fact uh, although he's not that close to getting five bars yet and Phoenix is down to a quarter of her health so yeah she takes out Morgan uh, still though still not looking good uh, he might have he might be having to think about going into expert well <laughs> just as I say that he loses he gets like hit twice with a gunshot and that there goes our health that was kind of funny so yeah phoenix didn't end up getting the five bars but uh but yeah going to the next game we got to point wesker and uh wesker is actually kind of annoying to deal with if you have the right assist and this is kind of uh this is kind of a good example of when you have two right assists uh really annoying to deal with the teleport mix-ups whenever you're in the air with strider because you know as obviously when you're in the air and you get hit by strider it's a free hard knockdown and against uh, wesker such an easy pickup off the hard knockdown really annoying to deal with but aside from that he's got a uh, doom hidden uh doom beam doom plasma beam and that's not very easy to to, to deal with either so too annoying this is to work to to work with pretty annoying altogether. I think what I have to do is I have to just, a anytime I'm going against Strider, I have to focus on sniping him. It's it's really tough though with my with my opening players because they don't have an easy way of sniping. I think the easiest way is with Morgan and going into hidden miss, uh, going into um, finishing shower. But it doesn't work unless I get, uh, unless I get some separation. And he's playing pretty... He's playing pretty safe. He's covering his assist pretty well, and then um, so making it harder for me to try to snipe him. Uh, I wish, I really wish Shadow Servant was easier of a was a better option. But sometimes when you go into Shadow Servant, Strider ends up going behind Morgan, and you know, obviously, Shadow Servant will do nothing if if uh, if the opponent is behind Morgan. So, so yeah, you kind of have to. Be a little bit more creative with some some of the other moves. Uh, he's gonna go into X Factor. I don't know. I, he probably should have just allowed himself to get hit because uh, he would have. He probably he wouldn't have died. I don't think unless I unless I was willing to spend X Factor and a whole bunch of meter. But I mean, he still ends up getting the touch, so none of this really matters, and that's gonna be it for for uh, for Magneto there. Yeah, going to the next game, we got uh, Morgan on point with uh, oh, we got the Chris G team. Oh, Doom is getting wailed on. He took some pretty good damage pretty quick. I'm actually probably going to snap 
him in just so that he can't heal that health back. Um, I probably could have killed Morgan, but uh, I, I think, you know, snapping in Doom is probably a decent decision too because all it takes is like one, you know, one Magnum and he's dead. Ooh, there's, there's a gunshot. He, it wasn't a Magnum, so he didn't end up dying. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, don't don't let yourself get uh, juggled by fireballs. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna raw tag my Morgan in because I like my chances of uh, of evading uh, evading fireballs with Morgan since she has flight mode. It's harder to it's harder to avoid chip damage with Chris because he he kind of has to stay on the ground. He's doing a good job at getting like at covering Doom. I, I haven't gotten a good, uh, a decent opportunity to uh, to snipe Doom yet since you know since I snapped him in. Um, hopefully, hopefully I get a decent chance coming up with Chris. Did he call Doom? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and his uh, Astro Vision just wore off, which sucks because that would have it, it would have interrupted me, and he wouldn't have lost Morgan if. Uh, if if, if his astral vision was active during that time, kind of a tough break there. But uh, he's still got a decent chance at winning with Virgil. He's got you know Dark Virgil going. Uh, ooh, yeah, nice. Yeah, that uh, that projectile hit at the perfect time, just as he touched down to the ground. If it hit him while Virgil was in the air, it wouldn't have comboed. It, it would have knocked him. He he would have he would have touched the ground and, and everything would have. It just wouldn't have comboed right. So. Uh, kind of happened at the perfect time, end up getting the easy combo and into level 3. So going to the next team, we got, uh, wow, really weird team. We got Shinko, Trish. Shinko one point, Trish in the second slot, and Phoenix. That is a really weird team. Like, how do you even get that team going? Like, with Shinko, you mainly want to get gold armor, but you can't spend the meter because you have Phoenix. Uh, yeah, I don't know how this team works. <laughs> it sounds like a really weird team. Maybe he just really likes Shinko. That's that's probably that's probably what's going on. He's just re he's just a really really hyped about Shinko. Um, I was able to meter steal off of a off of a Chris BNB, so he's he's got some work to do to get to five bars. So he's gonna probably gonna be playing pretty lame with uh, Trish, as most Trish players are inclined to do. Um, he really has to watch the assist calls because sometimes he, if Morgan players uh, shoot out meter stealing fireballs, that really cuts down assist calls. They, they kind of have to because you can't just let your assist get hit by them and just, you know, steal fireballs or steal meter like all, all day. Um, I, I was forced to tag out Morgan uh, so that she can get a little bit of healing. Oh, there goes Shingo, yeah. Really like doing that. Campfire confirms are uh, are so good. So yeah, here comes in uh, Phoenix. Uh, he probably could have held off on using X Factor. I don't know. It, it was getting kind of to that point where he had to decide whether to use it or not. Um, it, and you, if you don't use it, you run the risk of just dying <laughs> from like one touch, especially against Chris, who can kill from full screen pretty easily. So yeah, um, he, he's gonna get to five. He, he's already at five bars, so he's gonna get Dark Phoenix, but he's not gonna get uh, X Factor Dark Phoenix, which is you know is still kind of scary. But I don't know. He's gonna be losing. He's gonna start losing health right now. Even if he kills Morgan, he's gonna be down to about half health before Magneto comes in. So it's still looking okay for me. I got the meter advantage. I have X Factor, and I'm gonna blow it all right now, probably. Oh. I, think that was the wrong hyper um yeah that had to have been the wrong the wrong hyper I, I i think he still would have lost even if he did the right one because it i think it would have traded and i had my x factor which i was i was going to use regardless and during a trade uh it would have been a win for me there so kind of a tough break but i still think he would have lost so yeah, going to the next game we got uh trish trish on point with uh with C Viper, oh, a little bit of lag, and Ami. And Ami is so annoying with C Viper because, uh, 
uh, especially with Chris, who is a ground-based character, and a Amy Colstar does a really good job at painting Chris down to the ground longer than he would like to, and it's just so easy for Trish to get an opening off off that uh, that pin down. So. Yeah, Chris got he got beat up pretty badly, and I had to take him out and bring in Morgan. Oh, why did I have to drop that combo? That sucks. Um, beating up on Amy right here, and I guess I can go for it. Uh, I have enough meter. Um, yeah, I, I might as well go for it. He's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened with Trish. She was getting you know juggled around, but she ended up dropping out. He blew X Factor to save Trish. Uh, to save her, and um, it might have been an okay decision. I don't know. It's kind of that's kind of rough losing your anchor character and uh, X Factor, and you still end up losing the character after a little bit of a uh, neutral game. So yeah, he's got C Viper going in uh, without X Factor, a little bit of a meter advantage. Well, there goes one bar uh, as he goes into EX Thunder Knuckle, uh, kind of whiffed a little bit. Still gonna be able to take out Chris. Uh, I don't know if he takes out Morgan and gets gets it down to just one on one with Magneto. Even if I have X Factor, I still think Sea Viper could take out take out Magneto in one combo. It would have to be a really good one, but I, it's still possible. Yeah, I get the opening off the uh, the low, and I'm gonna go into a BNB, which I completely <laughs> I completely messed up. I, I didn't let him settle down off the launcher, so and he ended up floating too high, but. I get a good uh, a good air dash low and uh, take out C Viper to end the game. So yeah, here comes uh, the next match, and uh, this is going to be uh, against the most popular team on the planet right now. Uh, Zero May Cry. It's just everywhere. Everybody has Zero May Cry teams. It's ridiculous. So yeah, he's got the opening touch. Drops the combo. Uh, I don't know whether Zero combos are hard online uh, or not. I think. They might be get, they might be hard once you get into like the lightning loops section of the combo, but it's just the regular portion, so I, it doesn't seem like they're all that hard. But I don't know. Trying not to get mixed up. Uh, lightning, lightning. I think lightning tends to not cross up against Morgan when she's in the corner, just because of her tiny hitbox. I think it's harder for her to get to get uh, uh, crossed up. I want to say it's it. I, I want to say it's harder for a small body to get crossed up in the corner against lightning loops. It, that might not be the case, but it feels that way to me. I get a nice air-to-air -air confirm with Morgan on uh, on zero to, to kill him. Uh, oh, that should have been a shadow blade. It would have been it would have been a combo if I got that shadow blade. I, I tend to do that. I tend to do. I call Magneto and then I cross over the opponent and once I touch down to the ground I immediately go into Shadow Blade and if the uh, if Magneto's uh, disruptor hits it usually combos right into Shadow Blade. So. Uh, nice little touch, drop the combo though. I'm dropping a, ton a lot of combos are getting dropped like on both sides. Kind of kind of the what happens online a lot. Uh, he gets a grab, but he can't really do very much. I don't think he can use Virgil to combo off that. I, I want to say he can't. I, I don't know, though. Oh, what's he going to do? He's going to have to go into level 3, yeah. Ugh, I don't like that decision. I, it's the only decision where I don't lose a whole bunch of health on on uh, Magneto and I don't or, and don't lose Morgan. Because I could DHC into Magneto, but I still, I still get hit. I don't know. That's tough. It's tough to deal with, and now he's got Dark Virgil coming in, and of course the easiest confirm ever would do whatever, whatever, whatever into swords, and if everything hits, it's just so easy to do, you know, kill damage on Magneto off of X Factor slash uh, Demon uh, Devil Trigger uh, Virgil. So annoying. Uh, but anyway, we got the same team right here, uh, same guy, uh, same uh, Zero May Cry team. Uh, so yeah, zero on Chris point, uh, zero point against Chris point. Oh wow, I I think I went into a prone accidentally right there, but uh, because he gets uh, invincibility frames on wake up from prone, uh, I kind of got lucky there uh, because uh, zero crossed over. Oh yeah, there goes Virgil. I'm gonna get two magnums off him. Very nice, good damage, and I get the kill on zero. So that's pretty good, pretty good win for me. And yes, nice little grab. And I'm probably going to tag in Virgil, I think. Yes, there it is, yeah. Ah, 
Yep. Can't resist the Helmbreaker. Uh, Flamethrower has a kind of a nice hitbox where it just kind of sucks sucks up opponents. Uh, and I don't think I don't think Helmbreaker had active frames at the time. I'm pretty sure it'll win in a head-to-head -head matchup when you're that close uh, to a Flamethrower, but because he was so low to the ground, it, the Flamethrower just kind of absorbed him. So kind of got lucky there, but yeah, he, he ended up losing Virgil. Oh, this should be it. No. And I swear, Campfire is so finicky sometimes. I was watching, uh, I think it was either NCR or SCR. And uh, LL and D, it seemed like every time he landed a Campfire and tried to confirm off of it, he just couldn't. Like, the opponent would drop out of it, like, all weird like that. It's kind of the same thing happened to me, but it, it sucked because, like, it felt every time LL and D was trying to confirm off of a Campfire, he couldn't. It, it, it just kind of happens sometimes, so you kind of have to be ready for it. That's kind of why I don't like trying to confirm off campfires because stuff like that happens so much. But yeah, this is gonna be it for him. I, nothing hit right, but because he was so down, he was so low on health, it just kind of chipped him out. So yeah, that, that it, it was gonna be too hard to come back from that, especially since I hadn't used X Factor. I had so much meter, and and yeah. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this set of games, and as always, I will catch you guys next time. But until then, see you later.